So I've been riding this um, e-bike to work for uh, a year and a half or so. And well, actually it's only been about a year, I think. But the one thing that's always kind of bugged me about it is having um, nothing here flat to rest stuff on with my bungee cords, just a lot of space for stuff to fall through. So what I'm gonna do today is uh, on the CNC machine, I'm gonna cut me a piece of wood that'll fit on top of this. Uh, I'm going to get some measurements real quick and so I can match up all these screw holes that are already here and then kind of leave some of these holes open that run bungee cords through. So I'm gonna jump on AutoCAD Fusion 360 real quick, make up a quick design, and then obviously put some personalization on it because why not? We'll cut it out and finish it and we'll mount it onto this sucker. So let's get going on that. Okay, here's the design I came up with um, to go on the back of that bike rack. What I have here, you can see I still have some cutouts for the bungees where they can go through. And I have my mounting holes here, here, and here. And I have a recessed area next to the mounting holes for a stainless steel washer so it'll set flush. And then the bottom's gonna look like so. And I need to adjust the depth also. This is gonna be a half inch thick instead of three quarters. And then I also have my uh, Potter's Work logo on here that we're gonna use a V-bit to engrave that into the top of the wood when we're done. And other than that, I just need to adjust that depth and make my tool paths and we'll get going. All right, we got it all cut out. Got some tabs holding it together. And I just had this piece of poplar I wanted to use. Um, not super thick, but you know, it's a semi hardwood. So it'll work pretty good. I just need to cut these tabs off and uh, then I'll sand it up and we'll stain it and put some poly on it and it'll be good to go. All right, you can see we got some burrs and stuff when you to get off the edge of the wood. Um, that should come off pretty easy with a little sandpaper. And gotta sand these tabs off still. And uh, it looks like it'll be ready to go after that. It turned out pretty good.
So I can't decide if I want to stain this all one color or if I want to just do a light coat of paint to highlight the potter's work and then sand it back off so that's highlighted and then just put a coat of lacquer on it because I kind of like the natural look. So that's where I'm at right now. I did notice I used my 60 degree V on the on the cutout and I had it set a little too deep so some of my letters are a little closer together than I wanted them to be which isn't a big deal but part of my O in company chipped off so that's going to look kind of bad whenever I paint it, but I'm not super concerned about it. It's not like this is a showpiece or anything, it's just for me. So what I think I'm gonna do is probably just do the paint and then sand it again and then I'll lacquer it the way it is now just to make this kind of pop more. I just haven't decided on what color paint I wanna do in the middle yet. I'm kind of hesitant on that as well because, um, well, I may do a coat of sanding sealer to keep this from bleeding so bad into the rest of the wood because if I can do that then I can just sand a little bit quicker. Um, if I get bleeding I'll have to do a lot deeper sand and I don't really want to do any deeper if I don't have to. That's what I think I'm going to do. I'm just going to try to decide on a coat of paint here, a color, and we'll go from there. I'm going to kind of clean these out a little bit more too with um, a pick. Just some of the some of the wood fuzzies didn't get quite all the way pulled out with that v-bit which is pretty common with wood that's not really hard. So I'll do that next and then I'll decide on a color. So I decided I'm gonna do black just to make it pop and I went ahead and I just put a coat of some sanding sealer over this area. I'm gonna put a little tape around it before I, I'm just gonna dust it with some black paint. This should help it not bleed into the wood as bad. Um, in theory, that's my theory, uh, I think it will work. So I'm gonna let this dry, then we'll do a coat of black and I'll sand that off. Give the old elementary crayon trick. Just barely scoring it so I don't scrape the wood up too much, but I'm not too worried because we got to sand it again anyway. All right, we will let that dry till um, this is not tacky any longer. And I wiped the excess off so it would dry faster and uh, then we'll sand it. I think it's gonna look pretty good. So a quick shameless plug real quick before I show you the test fit. This is a Rab Power Bike, R-A-D Power Bike. They have a website and they're based out of Seattle. I did a bunch of research before I bought this and I've been riding it for about a year and I love the thing. Um, I get really good mileage out of it. I can ride it for a few days on, on one charge. I can hit about 25 miles an hour on the way to work. So it's a blast. It's got the fat tire, so it looks tough. And I just wanted to do a, like I said, the shameless plug here. If you do decide you're in the market for one of these things and you do decide to buy one, if you use my name, Josh Potter, in the checkout for referral you and i both will get a 20 or a 50 dollar amazon gift card so just if you want doesn't hurt we both get something out of it but uh, again enough with the shameless plug so here we go on the actual fit um, and i am going to do some polyurethane on this when i'm done it's going to be helmsman uh, sorry it's kind of dark here 
It's gonna be the Helmsman Indoor Outdoor Spar Urethane, and it is uh, UV protection, uh, UV protecting, and uh, it's supposed to be weather resistant. I've used it before and had good luck with it. I'm not gonna show that part of the video just because it's gonna be boring to watch me spray polyurethane. Other than that, this is pretty much done. So you can see I did some stainless steel hardware on here. That's gonna be uh, these are cap head screws, and I'm probably gonna end up trying to get online and find some pan head cap heads. All my local hardware store had in stainless steel metric. So. Went with that for now just to make sure everything fit okay. Have my stainless steel washers recessed in there perfectly. Uh, the fit looks really good. You can see it's held up off of the frame a little bit here, like so, and does cover those holes nicely so so much stuff can't fall through if I set something up here on the platform. It does fit the profile almost perfectly. I mean, there might be a sixteenth of an inch here or there. Not bad though for uh, just measuring everything out. So other than that, I'm done, um, except for the polyurethane. Again, I won't bore you with that part of it, but I do appreciate you guys watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I had a lot of fun with this one. It was just a day project. I just started this on a Sunday and finishing it Sunday evening. Just gonna take another day or two to put polyurethane on it and I'll be done. If you guys wouldn't mind, um, if, if you enjoyed this and wanna see more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button and uh, don't forget to like the video. It's, it's appreciated a lot. So um, thanks for watching again, guys, and have a good one.